So you're going to get a car and finance, you're going to get a mortgage, or you're going to get a loan. What, two, what three things are undertaken um, before these applications go through? That's right, a credit search. Now, why is it vital that you have an excellent credit score? While lenders, they're gonna wanna know if you're credit worthy, whether or not they should actually give you the money and they're actually assured that they're gonna get their money back. In this video, I'm going to discuss the causes of bad credit rating, what you can do to help three ways that you can monitor your credit score on a monthly basis so that it builds up every single month and finally the benefits of a good credit stay tuned and do don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you're gonna get loads of excellent content to make sure that you succeed so let's start off with the causes if you already have an application or a loan already then you're expected on a month by month basis in the credit agreement to reach out, send those payments. Now if you, for instance, miss a payment, then unfortunately that's gonna go against you, whether you like it or not, because at the end of the day, you've actually put down pen to paper that agreed with the credit lender that you're gonna be making consistent payments up until the agreement's ended. That's the or first way so whether you like it or not you either you actually don't go with the application or you maintain your um, payments declaring bankruptcy only making the minimum payments on a month by month basis well fair enough you're making minimum payments but what you need to be doing is you need to be gradually making more payments and if you can actually afford it if you've got a credit card I would recommend you make full payments on time. You, not only will this help build your credit score, but at the same time, you won't be paying any credit, um, any interest. So that's one way you can look a cause of um, a poor credit score. A bad credit is um, making the minimum payment. Having no credit score whatsoever. So if you don't like credit cards and you just don't like taking out any loans then unfortunately later on down the line when it comes to taking out a mortgage then it's going to be very difficult because you haven't shown to creditors or lenders that you're credit worthy so what they're going to do is they're most likely going to reject your application unless you have um, cash up front to pay for the house which is very unlikely so even if you don't like credit cards maybe even take out a mobile phone contract because end of the day that's showing to a lender that you are credit worthy even with, uh, taking out a gym contract is these are small ways that you can potentially build up your credit rating now they say that you should start building up your credit as early as possible so even if you like I mentioned you don't like taking out credit cards at least make the small steps because it's it actually builds up on a month by month basis and um, if, even if it's small it actually does build up and it's, it's just it's a good way to show to creditors that you actually credit worthy now there's one way a, a cause of bad credit that's out of your control and what is that that is basically identity fraud now unfortunately in this day and age at least one of us in you know, one in ten people is a victim of identity fraud now what can you do to minimize identity fraud well firstly what you can do is you can set yourself up for mobile banking and check your transactions um, go through your statements if there's anything that you are unsure about then it's best to highlight this with your bank another um, step I would take further is setting up a two-step verification method on your mobile phone so anytime you're logging you're required uh, to put in a verification sent to your mobile phone and um, once you've put the code in then um, the bank knows that it's actually yourself this is also occurs when you make a high ticket purchase 
on the online so what will happen say for instance you make a purchase it'll go through the verify by visa stage and then you'd be required to put in the six digit one time code sent to your mobile phone and um, basically once you've done that and you've put the code in then the transaction will become successful um, now the banks only do that uh, once if it's a high ticket purchase or you're making loads of different purchases and I would definitely recommend you set that up another most obvious way that you can uh, minimize identity fraud is potentially uh, having uh, firewalls and antivirus up to date so those are my um, causes of bad credit so how can you improve this credit score <laughs> well obviously pay your bills on time but sometimes you're not gonna ha going to remember things when you've got so many different uh, things going on in your life you're not going to remember so what I recommend you to do is you can actually um, set up a, a planner I've actually created another video uh, a simple app on your mobile phone that you use to set up reminders um, you can set up email notifications There's so many different ways but I recommend you go back to my previous video we have actually made a video on how you can um, set up reminders on your mobile phone it literally takes you uh, a few minutes to set up and once it comes to um, paying the bills then it should be an issue alternatively you can set up a standing order or direct debit and then you just don't really don't have to worry about it the next step is registering yourself with credit referral agencies such as Equifax and uh, ClearScore. I would re personally recommend ClearScore because um, you can set up notifications um, anytime um, uh, anything has changed, any circumstance or anything has changed uh, on your credit record uh, and you'll get a notification by email straight away. Um, another thing that you can do is you can dispute I've had instances in the past where I've actually disputed the information and I got it uh, corrected and uh, I've got my um, credit score restored back to the previous um, where it was before and um, I've actually built upon it so you, you also you always need to um, monitor your credit score on a month by month basis to ensure that you actually are on top of your credit score and finally, avoid too many credit applications. Well, if you do too many applications for a um, application for a mortgage, um, it may affect your credit score. Now, potentially look at possibly whether or not actually it does affect your credit score. Because if it doesn't, um, then go ahead. But if it does, then you actually really need to sit down and actually look at whether or not you're actually going to proceed with an application. Because if you are just doing it just to check. Um, a price or anything then it's not going to um, it's, it's actually going to uh, affect your credit score so don't do whatsoever unless you're actually going to commit to purchasing a house or um, purchasing a vehicle because you're just affecting your credit score so finally we're going we're going to discuss the benefits of a credit score now I've discussed all the causes and what you can do to um, be, uh, increase and um, benefit yourself with a good credit score but you're gonna actually think to yourself is it worth it actually going through the, the whole hassle um, I'm not even going to get a house I'm gonna get a rental well I'm going to discuss with you now the benefits of a good credit score well firstly you're going to get a low interest rate lenders are going to see that you are less riskier than somebody um, with a, a poor credit score so they're going to be, um, they're actually going to um, you're actually going to benefit with a lower interest rate and you're also going to pay lower fan finance charges on credit cards another benefit of um, having a good credit score is you're more likely to be approved for higher limits now i've experienced this myself um, with uh, loads of different lenders such as american express and hsbc and different lenders um, automatically what will happen when you, you build up a credit good credit score then you, they're going to see you as a, a very valuable individual because you, you're actually maintaining your credit score and you're actually going about um, trying to build your credit rating so what will happen in return is the more likely to be um, accepted for a higher credit limit so that may help in, in emergencies later on down the line but again I definitely recommend you seek financial advice um, what you don't want to be doing is getting a, a good credit limit and then getting into debt so please be responsible 
And finally, you're more likely to be approved by a, a landlord if you are to rent a house. Landlords are more likely to do a credit search on an individual um, because, I mean, as a landlord's perspective, they have uh, issues with the tenants not paying on time. So you're more likely to be approved uh, for a home um, to rent. Those are uh, the causes, the benefits and what you can do to improve your credit score. I would definitely recommend you um, take on board what I've said today and implement it. Start by taking a mobile phone contract and uh, make the change today. It, it, will take, uh, um, it will take some time but I mean if you slowly start slowly month by month basis um, register yourself to a credit reference agency uh, monitor your credit score and it will um, yield results and it actually it will help you later on down the line so thank you very much for watching today and again i would really appreciate you if you hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification because we will be putting out more content on a weekly basis um, so yeah thank you for very much for watching and uh, stay tuned